All right, so what is up, guys? In this video, I want to go over what inheritance is and how you can use it in Kotlin. So let's get started immediately by creating a sample project. And the first thing we are going to do up here is create an open class and it's going to be named person. And it's going to take two parameters in the constructor, which are going to be age of type int and name of type string. Then we are going to create a block. And inside this block, we are going to create a value at the top called apple price and that's going to equal 10 then we are going to create an init block and inside here we will write print line my name is name and then we will just create another print line statement right below it and that will be my age is age and right below that we are going to create another open function this one's going to be called open function walk and inside here we will write a print line statement that says walking is good for your health. So right below we are going to create a new class and this is going to be a class called coding teacher and it's going to take age of type int and name of type string in its constructor and we are going to extend person because the coding teacher is a person so we can extend this class and use all of its properties inside the coding teacher class. And of course we need to pass into the constructor the age and the name. So we're just gonna write age and name here. And this will be derived from these two over here. So that's very simple. And inside here we will create a function called teach maths. Then we will add a few print line statements. The first one's gonna be I am a coding teacher and I teach code with an exclamation mark. And right below we can write print line, the price of an apple is We'll add this pound symbol and we will add the dollar symbol to interpolate and we will write a pair of parentheses inside and then we can write apple price and we're going to multiply that by 0.10 and we want to convert that or cast that into an int. So as you can see, we created this new class which inherits from person and inside this class, we have no such value of apple price. So the way we got this apple price is by inheriting it from the person class. So we can use this value apple price inside here. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and create another class. This one's gonna be called class business man. And it's gonna take the same constructor and the same inheritance from person. So we can just copy and paste that and put it right here. Let's get rid of these two parentheses and let's create a block. So the first function inside here is gonna be function to business. And we're gonna create a few print line statements. The first one is gonna be print line, I am a business man and I love to do business with an exclamation mark. Then we'll create another print line right below. But for this one, we're just gonna take from our previous statement in the coding teacher and paste it right in here. So we'll add another pair of quotation marks and we will interpolate the apple price again. We'll write apple price. And that will take care of the function we created in businessman. And finally, I want to show you that you can actually also access these functions from the other class just by typing in walk. It will give you this option to override walk. And what overriding does is call the previous function. So the super walk is this function precisely. And if you want to override it and add your own code, you can either get rid of this and completely start from scratch, or you can leave it there and it will call print line and add whatever you want to it. So we can write print line and inside here, I added code to this walk function. Perfect. So just to explain what we did here once more, we created an open class called person, which takes age and name as parameters and we're gonna use this class to pretty much create a base for all the people we will create. So coding teacher is a person and businessman is a person. So we're gonna use this class and inherit from it because all people have basic functions and to keep it simple, we used a person class which defines these basic functions so we could save time and not have to rewrite all of these functions each time we create a new class. For example, we don't want to create my name is name and my age is age each time we create a new human. We just want that to be part of the person and all the people can walk. So we will always have this walk function available for all the people. We can also override that in the coding teacher class, but it's not necessary for this example. And it's just good to have a standard place to inherit from. So you can follow some code structure. But if you were to create a class named lamp, maybe this would not be the most appropriate or fitting solution for the class of lamp. Because unless your lamp has a name and an age and can walk, 
none of this code is really applicable to the lamp. But uh, let's continue with this example because all we've done here is create a few classes and we have not tried to use any of them yet. So right down here in our main function, the first thing we are going to do is create a value of teacher and instantiate our coding teacher. So we'll get coding teacher and inside here we will pass the arguments that it requires such as age, we'll give it 37 and we will name our coding teacher even. And the first thing we want our teacher to do is to teach math. So we'll write teacher.teachmaths and that will call that function. And right below that, I'm gonna create a quick break, a line break, just by adding an escape and adding three hyphens. And then below that, we are going to create a businessman. So we're gonna write value business equals businessman and his age is going to be 28 and we are going to name him max then we're going to write business dot do business to call that function that we have created right here and then we can also try to call the overridden function and the way we do this is just by typing in business dot walk and everything will be taken care of now the final thing to do here is actually to go ahead and click on play so we will do that and as you can see here from the main class the class that was inherited from we have the initializer block which called my name is even and my age is 37. It says I am a coding teacher and I teach code and the price of an apple is one pound. So the one was inherited from our open class of person and so were these two print line statements from the init block which also were inherited from person. And then we also have the second person we created, the one down here, the businessman and his name is Max, he is 28 years old. I am a businessman and I love to do business. The price of an apple is 10. We forgot to use the pound symbol. Okay, there we go. So the price of an apple is 10 pounds. Walking is good for your health. And I added code to this walk function. We can also choose to not add any code to the overridden function of walk. We can just go teacher.walk and that will inherit it from the person class. So when we click on play, it will just write whatever code was originally in walk. Walking is good for your health. So the teacher agrees, even agrees, Max agrees. And those are the basics of inheritance. But uh, that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching as always. And in the next video, we will be going over visibility modifiers. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.